I don't know why people do this. You know, Pat Nery is such a nice person. <laughs> Everybody, just taking bacon out for a little walk. Twelve years old, little lady. Don't want to see her having a pee. Go on, bakes, go on. There we go. <laughs> Little old lady. Right then, I'm using my phone. Using my phone today. Bye. Because my uh, Osmo's broke. So, sorry if it's a bit wobbly. Um, you know, I'll do my best. So, I just thought I'd do a quick update. There's not a lot going on. Um, actually, there's been quite a lot going on. Um, so, I'll just do a quick couple of minutes vid to... Uh, talk about that right so there you go these are it's quite a lot missing a lot of big gaps partner has been busy selling these um, we're trying to make space because down here we want to put concrete pots for the finger line we've decided but the back of the house, mum's house, we're going to use that as a finger line farm. So we're getting rid of these um, and we're getting rid of them fairly quickly because she's reduced the price. So they're excellent value for money for what she's selling them for. Um, you'll remember the big order. They had two big orders. Yeah, one of them did go to plan. Um, one of them, I'm not going to say names, I'm not going to give out too much details, but one of them basically tried to scam Patnery um, and they didn't quite succeed. Unfortunately, that's business, isn't it, these days? Um, as I said, I'm not going to give out too many details because I'm sure that person still follows the channel. You know who you are. And if you do follow the channel, I'm afraid you've uh, upset quite a lot of Thai people. Um, so good luck with selling your lemons. That's all I'm going to say. Right. And uh, you've also upset a few other people in other communities with your actions. So good luck with that. Hope it all turns out well. Uh, it probably won't. Anyway, what this person did, basically waited and waited until we're at the point of delivery. Then wanted to cancel. By then they'd already paid their deposit. So, I, you know, partnery being partnery, she was all ready to say yes, okay, but she'd spent a lot of money. Yeah, she'd spent a lot of money trying to, well, in labor, getting their trees, getting it all ready for them. Um, and then they said, yeah, we want our money back. Uh-uh, not happening. 
So, Pantnery being Pantnery, she came to a compromise with them. And, uh, yeah, 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 that's growing well. These finger limes are so popular. We've actually just done a deal with the company in Lau. Um, hold on, I'll be back. Now, where was I? Just had to take a delivery there. Right, so these are some Eureka lemons. These are getting ready to be sold. There's about a hundred of those that are on order. And they're fairly cheap. They're only, I think she sells these for 150. Right, they're about 100 centimeters, 80 to 100 centimeters. So, yeah, as I've uh, already put, told you the brief story about the um, guy who bought the lemon trees, but they, I don't know why people do this. You know, Pat Nuri is such a nice person. She'd rather avoid any conflict. And I think without me, she would have rolled over and just let the guy rip her off. Um, but that's business here in Thailand. If you're a foreigner out here, you're going to do business. Be prepared for these little things. And do you live and learn, you know? Now... Partner, he won't take a deposit. It's either full payment or no payment. Um, and that kind of goes against how she thinks. You know, she's such a nice person. She doesn't want to hurt anybody. She doesn't want to upset anybody. She just wants to help everybody. Um, so, yeah, it makes me feel sad when she's sad. It gets me freaking angry. So, yeah, good luck with your lemon selling, you lemon. <laughs> Excuse me. Nearly swore then. The other thing, I, and I don't want to sort of jump on a bandwagon here, but some of you will have already read the absolutely terrible, tragic news about those poor kids in Bangkok and the teachers in the bus accident. One of the things that I've always worried about here is Oliver and going on school trips. And I remember a while back, a few years ago, we had one of Pat Nuri's nieces living with us in Bangkok and we put her through college. And when it came to the trips that you can't stop them going on because all the friends are going on. You know, I wanted to know everything. What kind of bus, how many drivers, blah, blah, blah. And I was really worried for her safety. Not because of she's going on a trip, but because of the roads here. They're just terrible. And just this week, I've got Anise who's here in Thailand. Uh, she's not young. She's not a kid anymore. She's in her 20s. But the last thing I said to her was, look, have fun. Enjoy yourself, but do not get a bike. You know what young kids are like. So she said, why? You know. And you have to explain, and then you sound like an old fuddy duddy. But the roads are really bad. And I just feel heartbroken for these kids um, and the parents who can't even understand what they're going through right now. So I just said to my niece, look, please don't get a motorbike, pay for a car or a tour. And, uh, 
you know, stay safe because the roads here in Thailand, I think last year it's 20,000 people died on the roads in Thailand. Most of those are uh, uh, motorcyclists. That's the size of a small town. 20,000 die on the roads. And that doesn't include the ones that die in hospitals after an accident. They're only ones that die at the scene. So, yeah. I'm not in a good place at the moment. I'm sorry, it's not the best video. Um, yeah. I hope the world gets better soon. Um, life on the farm has been good, but there's been a lot of things recently. The floodings here in Thailand, the damage to friends, farms, um, people that we know very well have lost everything. Up in Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. Um, sorry, my phone's shaking. Hopefully, with the end of the wet season, there'll be a happier feeling amongst the world. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, she's doing well, is Miss Pat Nary. She does some fantastic work getting all this ready for a finger line farm and I quickly mentioned actually we've just been given a contract for a company in Lao for finger line so gotta get on with these finger limes get them growing because that is a good little sideline to the lemons anyway everyone keep smiling be happy, and I'm sorry I'm a miserable get today, but uh, yeah, oh, she's also growing blueberries, yeah, there you go, gonna try and get them growing, but these are a different kettle of fish, take ease everybody, stay happy, keep safe, see you all again, bye bye.